So, how do you want her to die? I don't want bruises on her body. I want you to kill her whichsoever way you can to make it a natural death. So there will be no suspicion. You don't look yourself, Your Majesty. Mama. Your Majesty. Do you know it, why it is you I always come here with? I know, Your Majesty. Because I'm the one with the spirit of Obambada. Good. And I know you can trust me. Good. When the king undermines the women, that is the only thing that comes to mind. We do not have the power to challenge the king, but we have the power to ask our ancestors to intervene. This is what we are doing. Ekene, that the king is seriously planning on installing as the owner of Umudun kingdom is a man of questionable character. We all know he is not qualified. But the king wants to install him as the owner by all means. We even heard that many of the people he defrauded have committed suicide because they are left with nothing. That makes him a murderer. A murderer cannot be chief in Umudunu kingdom. If Ekene becomes the owner, that means we've lost the moral edge to create our children. That means Money has become superior to morality and uprightness. That is not right. And we ask the gods of the land to intervene. Now that the very foundation of the king be truncated. For undermining the power and the strength of women in Umudunu, the same women that the ancestors never undermined. Let Ezenkenkeni pay the price. We are not asking for his death. No. Rather, let him be alive to witness another king rise in Umudunu. I seal this prayer with the sand of Umudunu. Let those who trouble this land, be it king or ordinary people, let them never know peace. As long as they chose to trouble this land, may peace be far from them. Something, Something went, went wrong, wrong with the with king. king. And he doesn't even know about it. Do you really feel that which we did that afternoon worked? Oh, Koka. If you are deaf that you cannot hear, are you equally blind that you cannot see? That king who feels he can remove me from the presidency of Womodunu Women Assembly has been destroyed. All we are waiting for now is for the manifestation. Oh, Master, from what you feel, I do not think there's anything that will ever make you go down with the king. That's what I told him. I told him that to his face. That's why he has been punishing me. But believe me, I do not care anymore. You see that my shop? How about this go near tomorrow? I'm going to start my business. Let me see who will come and stop me from entering that shop. If you will listen to me, 
I will suggest you end this war with the king. Mama Sri, you are a widow. And when the time comes, you might not see who will back you up. I am backed by the guards. That's enough for me. Believe me. So, let the king bring it on. I am ready to play along with him. Behold, the abode of detention I'm still surprised, your majesty. You still left your fork in this place. It will easily be stolen. Exactly what I said. But my father, the king, insisted that the ancient beast kept watch over this earth. And now we are here in this lonely afternoon and the bees are not here. These things are not physical, my dear. If you dare go into those huts, you will see them descend on you. But do not try because they surely will sting you to death. So, Wapanda, you came highly recommended. Is there something you can do to retrieve your fall? <laughs> Your Majesty, the offer was not stolen, but it was taken. But I can perform some ritual, for it may come back. Whatever it will take, just do it. Eh? I will pay whatever you charge me. There is nothing hidden under the sun that a panda will not see. I pray all your powers that are loyal to a panda. Open my eyes. For me to see the offer, guide my footsteps. Ah! What? What? Where is he going? I don't know. Obaja! Come back here and do this shit! Obaja! I'm sorry, mother, I can't marry her. Can you tell me why? She is not my class. <laughs> what part of her body exactly is not in your class? Everything about her. You're making a big mistake saying that. Mother, there are no mistakes. She can't measure up to me. So when you were opening her legs and finding your way in there, you did not realize she was not in your class? And I was reliably informed it happened several times. And now you're standing there telling me she is not in my class. Well, we only had fun and it ended there. Really? You only had fun and it ended there. Let me tell you something. Let me break the news to you. That fun is going to extend and continue into marriage. I will never. I will never marry her. Well, I, I, can, I can take care of her until the baby comes. But after that, she will leave. Are you listening to yourself? So what happens to that child she's carrying? It's none of my business. Oh, of course it is your business. That child she's carrying is royalty. And you and I know how royalty should be treated. Or oh, don't we? Oh Panda, I know you might have encountered something strange that made you run away. What was that? The gods of your land are angry. Did I tell you why? They have warned me not to say anything about this issue anymore. Uh, but even if you want to discontinue, can you at least tell me the location of that offer so that I can do whatever I can to retrieve it myself? Standing here talking about this offer, it's not even good for me. I don't know what you have done. It's like the gods have rejected you. What do you mean by that? They cannot reject me. The gods cannot reject me for I am already the king. In fact, nobody can reject me. I will remain king till I join my ancestors. I wish you best of luck, Onyeze. But I don't want to be part of this anymore. Opanda! 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 So, why are you here? To check on my crush. Or oh, is it wrong to check on my crush? 
You know what? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> don't start with me, oh. I don't get it. Me, I know who is the crusher and the crushy here. I know it will be very deceitful of you to try to insinuate that you have been crushing when I know I am the one that I've been doing the crushing. Look at the way you're saying it with all boldness, mm -hmm. as if you're sure. Mm -hmm. You're not even sure, are you? Answer this question. Answer it without any form of male politics. Okay, I'll put it. Why have you been keeping your distance from me? Okay, first I'm taking my time to make up my mind. What? We both know that's not true. <laughs> well, that's true. Or would you have preferred a rush into it? <laughs> you see? Yeah. So, how have you been? My crush. Lonely. I've been so lonely. I'm nobody. Lonely. Exactly the same song I was singing while coming to see you. Mm? Yeah, like you read my mind. It seems we are in the same situation here. I'm lonely too. What's funny? You. <laughs> You're making me look stupid when you laugh at me. What's, what's you funny? You know that I see women trooping in and out of your house. I don't know what you're talking about. I know my mind is focused on one place. And that's the beauty before me here. <laughs> Your Majesty, is any other person aware that the staff is missing? Only Okudele, my son, is aware. Now you are the second person. Good. Just keep it like that for now. Mm -hmm. While we intensify efforts in finding it. I have looked for the staff everywhere. I even employed the services of a Dibia named Opanda to help me in searching for it, but to no avail. Your Majesty, now I am involved. And I so much believe that together we shall find it. Is that not why I speak highly of you? You are the original right hand man to the king. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Together we shall find it. I believe we will. But on a second thought, I want to employ some use to help look for it. And whosoever that finds it will be handsomely rewarded. Your Majesty, that is not a good option at all. Because once you give such an order, the missing staff becomes a public matter. And it will put your position as the king under serious threat. I will put measures in place to make sure things do not blow out of proportion. Your Majesty, with due respect, I humbly suggest you don't do it. You don't have to worry yourself. I know how to go about it. I do not hate you, my prince. Are you sure? Yes, my prince. Okay. Please sit. I 
had her stand, my friends. Look, I want to have a word with you and there is no way we'll be standing and talking. Yes. My yeah. friends, what are we celebrating? Um, well, um, a new beginning. I want to say that I am sorry for the way I've treated you ever since you made mention of your pregnancy. How do you mean? Well, um, first I want to say that I am sorry for the way I've treated you from the very moment you mentioned that you were pregnant, that you were pregnant for me. It's okay, my prince. Um, I want to say that I am, um, that I wasn't thinking straight, but I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready right now to embrace my responsibilities. I will marry you. You're kidding me, my prince. No, I am not. I am serious. Are you, are you sure? I will make this discussion simple so you will know what I'm about to tell you. All right. First, I want to tell you that whatever I'm about to tell you right now should remain a secret between both of us. Agreed? Agreed. Good. My father's staff authority is missing and he wants to secretly employ some guys who will go out there and look for the staff. And whoever that finds it, will be handsomely rewarded. That sounds good. I mean the reward. But you see, I have not seen this staff before, and I don't know what it looks like. So how do I recognize it when I say it? Trust me on this. The staff itself, it's a deity on its own right. So when you see it, you will know it. Hmm? Yes. I am a straight man of Umuduni Kingdom. And I cannot remember telling anyone that I am involved in mysticism. With the way you are sounding, it shows you cannot do it. As a matter of fact, you're right. Because what you're asking me to do is more like Mission Impossible. It's all right then. You can forget about it. I will move on with the set of guys. I hope. I did not disappoint. Oh, not at all. But make sure that what we discuss here today should remain a secret between us. Sure. You don't know how happy I am each time I see you smile. Ever since this unforeseen problem started, I have never smiled like this. I'm sorry I made you cry. It's okay, my prince. And I'm so we are going to toast to a new beginning. By next month, we go see your people and our marriage plan will start properly in earnest. My prince. You're full of surprises. Look, I've come to love you so much. And I can't wait to make you my wife. And I promise to be a submissive wife to you, my prince. I know you will. 
So, we talk for long life, prosperity, new beginning, happy marriage, <laughs> and of course, our new family. It's a new family. I'm sorry, my prince. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. Please. Sorry, darling. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. I, I will just get them to blend this shit up, okay? Sorry. Are you hot? No, no. That is enough. Come in. <laughs> Mom. Um, I'd like for us to talk. I wanted to update you about Sensibe. From, I want her to stop working as a palace maiden. From today, I want her to start dressing in royal attire until you're ready to go and pay her bride price. No problem. Good. So, would you like to tell your father or you want me to do that for you? Mom, you're, you're my mother. It will be best you tell him yourself. I want you to begin to see Inzube as your wife. Having observed her from afar, I see that she has all the attributes it will take to make a good wife. Yes, Mom, you are correct. Great, so she's going to be joining us for dinner? In her royal attire? Of course, absolutely. Wow. Beautiful. There's no problem. I know it doesn't look like it though, but I believe that in due course you're going to appreciate what I'm doing for you. Of course. Of course. So, see your dinner, right? Yes, a dinner. Alright, so you take a seat in a bit. Hello? I'll help you find this stuff. So why this sudden change of mind? Because I want to help my kingdom. Oh. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Alright then. First thing tomorrow morning, come to the palace. I'll be there first thing tomorrow morning. Good. I'll be waiting for you. Rush. I made this call because you asked me to. I don't have the slightest idea on how to get this stuff. I already told you. Please. I want you to reassure me that you help me find this star. That is an assurance you already have in the bank. Now I want you to reassure me of something. Reassure me that you will marry me when I help you find the stuff. Hello. 
Kaputi from Bravusu. Strong man of my land. You're here. Why are you laughing at me? I knew you'd come. And I'm happy you're here. So. I came here for a purpose. What is it? Elobuti. Okay. I want to ask, of all the men in Umuduna Kingdom, why is it that I am the one you have insisted on settling down with? Why? It is because I want to make you a great man. Greater than your great grandfather. I was led in my spirit before I approached you. For it has been said that you will be in dire need of my special gifts in the near future. Who is telling you all this? Forces. Presumably forces that keep watch over Umuduno. I don't know the game you are playing. Okay, you see, I don't know any force, and I've never been obedient to any of them. <laughs> you don't need to know them or be associated with them before they can choose you for anything. I have a gift. It promises to make you a great man. My special gifts will unlock the doors of wealth and wisdom. And for that to happen, the man that I love has to love me genuinely. Anything is achievable. But whoever that man is, as long as he loves me, genuinely. This and more will be yours if you marry me and love me, genuinely. Don't say anything, Mom. about it. <laughs> <laughs> Are we still on this? <laughs> I never stopped. I made that proposal from the depth of my heart. You have to promise me he's in the stars and the sky. Promise me that when I help you find the stars, you'll marry me. It's in me. They don't call me weird for nothing. When I want something, I always have it. It was wrong of you to lash out on your brother like that. Father, someone needs to talk some sense into him. Not in the presence of the girl. I she was embarrassed. I didn't mean it that way. You owe her some waste of apology. 
Father, I will do that, but not now. Good. So, how do they go with you and your friends? <sighs> Father, three are accepted to look for the staff. And I'm optimistic they will find it. They will be here tomorrow to hear from you. Yes. I cannot thank you enough, son. When all these are over, I'll make my plans for you now. <laughs> you were my father, the only true king of Umudun Kingdom. I can go to any length to protect your interest. <laughs> you always say that. I have once again proven that point. Thank you, Father. If she dies like this, certainly her death will be traced to me and I will end up in jail. I get it. Strangling her will be the best option. Why is it today that she's spending the night with me that she died? That's the exact question people will ask. How else do I take care of this idiot? Yours. I'm okay. You know, I slept so good because I had you by my side. Mm, that's so sweet of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be going out now and you join me later. To where exactly? Don't worry. I will instruct one of the guys to bring it to me. Okay, my prince. Yes, um, something um, you have to do. Do not let my mother or any of the family members to know that you're coming to see me. Why, my prince? Yes, I know this is new to you. I mean, becoming royalty. There are some of the real secrets I want to show you out there. That's my wife. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> I see you beaming with excitement. Lead me into it. What is it? Everything will work. 
perfectly well. The king did not just listen to my request, mm -hmm. he also entered into a written agreement with me. Really? Oh, yes. Show me. Show you? I mean, the document of the agreement? Yes. <laughs> it is safely deposited in the bank. I mean, you can't expect me to be moving around with such an important document that has given me access to almost everything I have prayed and asked God for in my life. Ah, be safe. <laughs> I'm very happy for you. Thank you. You should be. <laughs> I mean, this whole thing, I'm, I'm overwhelmed, as a matter of fact. I mean, this whole thing looks like, like film. It's not film. It's reality. Yeah. I can feel it. I can feel it, too. How do we go about it? That's the next step. Okay, um, there's a ritual I have to perform to the gods. After then, the whereabouts of the staff will be unveiled. Hmm? Did you say ritual? Yes. But not, not, not in the light you perceive it. I chose the word ritual because that's the real name. This whole thing is becoming deeper than I envisaged. I mean, I don't want to have anything to do with ritual. You have nothing to worry about. I'm already worried. <laughs> oh yes, from the very moment you mentioned ritual, then ah, I know. Ritual, not in that understanding. I'm referring to a form of supplication to the gods. Women of our land refer to it as ritual. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, when is it going to be? How, when is it going to get started? The next poor market day. Next poor market day. That's three days from today? Mm hmm Okay. I'm ready and willing. Mm -hmm. As as long as it doesn't involve mm -hmm. bring one fowl, mm -hmm. bring the tacola, mm -hmm. bring baby head. <laughs> so, how do you want her to die? I don't want bruises on her body. I want you to kill her whichsoever way you can to make it a natural death. So there will be no suspicion. My prince, we are good at that, so consider it done. Okay, um, so I will have to stick around to see how you handle that, okay? No need, my prince. We know exactly what you want. Yes. And okay. we'll follow it up. Yes, my prince. You don't have to. I insist. <laughs> my prince, believe me, when this game begins, it won't be fun. Anyway, my prince, since you insist, we will do as you just said. Good. My prince, how much are you paying us for this deal? Uh, 500,000 naira. It's a good deal. My prince, you are paying us 1.5 million. Yes. All right, I will pay 1 million. Just get it done. My prince, 5 naira will not come out from that 1.5 million. Exactly. 1.5 million. Do the job. Do it clean. Okay, my prince. Hmm. Juliet and Angela will just come. Let's and let's gulp it. Hmm. I need to take it easy before my baby chokes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the royal palace guard is waiting for you outside. Oh, is he already? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll be with him shortly. Let me just quickly go up my juice. There's oh, no point in sharing the juice. Yes, I can. Uh, uh. Angela, you, you can share with her. You can my share love, let her. me see you. All right, baby. <laughs> you can share with her now, you know. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Juliet, what's the meaning of that? Meaning of what? 
So you can no longer control your truth or what? You see all this through yourself? Or that I go get. But wait though. So who's been on dresses in royalty? I can't, I can't believe this. <laughs> it's happening live and direct. It just happened before our very eyes. What the shoe? Just balance. Angela, a glass of juice, please. A wallock at church rat. Ma'am, my own Angie. Mm -hmm. Me, Angie, baby. She will not even try it. Maybe she will call you not. She will not even try and call me. But this is not ordinary. Eh? She used something, not only on the prince, but the entire royal family. Can't you see? Is that what you think? Yes, open your eyes. To me, I am just seeing the power of love in action. <laughs> Which love? Listen, Angela, I know you don't believe in love, mm. but the earlier you start believing in it, the better for you. So if they ask you, you will say that is love. True love, of course. Juliet, are you listening to yourself? This is not love and can never be love. Yes. Angela, why are you sounding like that? Listen, Nisube is a beautiful girl. A very beautiful girl at that. Mm. Forget she just came to this palace to work as just a palace maid. Juliet, I am not talking about beauty. I am talking about hypnotizing the prince and the entire royal family. Can't you see? Open your eyes. Till tomorrow, Angela, I will keep telling you that she used nothing on the royal household. Nothing. It's just love. <laughs> Wait, though. I think, I, I think she added something in this drink that you are now taking sides with them. I just don't understand. What's happening? What's happening here? Angela. The way you sounded just now goes a long way to show you have not been following up on our discussion. Flash up from her face to see scene 121 where she was talking with a friend Chica. We are back now. Action! Oh. What could the prince be doing in this lonely bush? <sighs> what? That can't be true, your highness. I have no reason to lie to you. And you never cared to tell me that your staff of authority was missing? I didn't want to bother you. Besides, I was hoping I would find it in time. Personally, I tried, but to no avail. You do know that if you fail to find that staff, you cease to be the king of this great kingdom. I know. That's why I'm intensifying efforts towards finding it. Are our children aware of this? Only a good is aware. You have to tell Chijindu and the princess so that if they have any suggestions, they'll start making it. I don't want this blown out of proportion. Your Highness, how does telling your children your troubles amount to blowing it out of proportion? Besides, this is the time that we need to stand together as a family unit until that stuff turns up. My prince. My sweetheart. It has dropped you by the roadside, I guess. Yes, but it's all bush here. Ah, oh, come on. That's the um, royal property. We have the treasure there, so I want to show it to you. Don't be afraid. Nothing is going to happen to you. I'm inside, actually. Just, just, okay. I'm walking towards your duration. Just be coming in. You'll meet with me. Okay? Um, oh, okay. That's my girl. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Idiot. Stupid girl. Maybe you should hear this. I have employed someone to look for the staff. 
and I'm optimistic you will find it. Your Highness, you have just betrayed yourself by telling an outsider about this missing stuff. There is nothing to worry about because everything is under my control. You know, this time you have lost it and you just have to admit it. No, I know what I am doing. And what is it you think you're doing? Looking for every possible means to retrieve my staff of authority. You know, I'm just hoping that you find that staff before too many years hear about it. Nobody is going to hear about it. All right then, if you insist. So who is this person that you hired to look for it? His name is Ilo Putife, a reliable son of the soil. Your Highness, did you say reliable? If he was that reliable, how come I've never heard of him? He's a gentleman, a gentleman of this kingdom. He assured me he will find it. And I believe him. I pray so, Your Highness. Yes, he will I find it. I pray so. Who are you? I am Bukas. Yuan Zube, Prince J Chijendo's wife. Yes. The prince asked me to get you. <sighs> okay. Thank God. Okay. After you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh. What could the prince be doing here? Hey, that's in council. I called us here for something very crucial. Something very crucial that we need to take an urgent decision. The ancient of of Umuduno. The same of that empowers kings in Umuduno kingdom is missing. What? Are you sure of what you're saying? I am very sure of what I just said. Who told you? The king himself. Hey! SNKK usually when you saw went to that ancient house of the gods where the offer is kept and discovered the offer is no longer there. That means it's true. The issue here is that in the absence of that offer, the king cannot take any decision on any crucial matter in this kingdom. And now that we stand the chance of becoming rich as an oil producing community, we must have to do something. And we have to do something immediately. What's going on here? Am I the only one who is lost here? What is he talking about? Well, uh, the issue here is that you see, Ibenebu, you were not there when it came up initially. There is oil now. An oil mm. producing company has discovered oil in commercial quantity here in Umuduna Kingdom. And they want to start the exploration immediately. They have approached the king for approval so that they can start this exploration. And now that this offer is missing, hey, we have a problem. Because the king will not be able to give approval for the exploration of any part of Umuduno. He cannot do that without the offer. That is the problem now. Oh. Hmm. This is complex. Complex and complicated. Well, in here, Bazuago, I see nothing complicated here. What I am sensing now is it is possible that Ezen Kenkeni Shuli also has committed a very secret sin. Very terrible sin that prompted the gods and the ancestors of this kingdom to take the offer from him. How sure are you that the ancestors were the ones who took the offer? Benebu, you are elder in this kingdom. You know that the bees that watch over that of all can never allow anyone come close to that of all. It must be the gods. This is an opportunity for us to dethrone Unkenke so that we can benefit from this uh, oil money. Ishi Okolo, I am so happy that this is coming from you. Had it been I said it, uh, people will misunderstand it. He is the one that is saying it. Thank you for actually being the one now. You see, of late, I've discovered that this is our king. Listen, Kenke listen to so many legal things. Huh? So many legal things. So much so that a woman, a woman looked him straight in the face 
and called him a crooked king. <laughs> and I'm sure the woman is right. No, I know that that woman is correct. Well, is she about to From what I am seeing now, it is so clear there is something you know that we don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, based on what is playing out, we want to have a prosperous Umudunu kingdom where everything will be working. And in ensuring that everybody who has any vital information that is hidden, to be able to bring it out so that everybody will be on the same page. Mm -hmm. In the way you are sounding, it is so clear that you have an idea of this secret sin wow. that the king has committed wow. that has crippled Umudunu. Can you please tell us what you know? It's a very important thing. Oh, no. I can't see my Ah, I'm going to all your money. What kind of a place is this now? Eh? What could be? What could be this place? Here yeah, is okay. Okay, so we're going to stay here and wait for the prince. Yes. I mean, how long are we going to wait? Don't worry, he will come soon. I hope so. Like, who comes to a bush to wait for Don't his worry. wife? He will come soon. This is strange. I don't get. What, do, do you think I should? Please, please, please don't kill me. I beg you, please, please, please. What, what, what do you want with me now? Keep please, quiet. please don't kill me. Please. Please. Ah! Oh ah! Oh, oh. Hello, beautiful one. Please, can I have a minute of your time? Okay. Yeah. I came to withdraw. The ATM swallowed my card. And I don't have any money on me to go home. Well, I'm very sorry about that. Okay, um, how much are you looking at? 2,000 Naira. But if you can give me any one you have, I will manage it. It's fine. Okay, so... You said you need 2,000 Naira. Yes. All right, so this is 4,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. All right, I I'm sure that should be able to take care of whatever you need. Oh, to. yes, you have done more than enough. Yep. I'm so sorry about what happened to you. Okay? No problem, no problem. Right. Excuse me, please, please. please. What yes. is your name? My name is Tissi. <laughs> Never mind, this is just nothing. You don't have to say that. Eh? An angel like you in a human form. I want to know your name. Well, if you insist, my name is Nzube. Okay, so take care. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Zube. Zube, what are you doing here? Do you, do, you, do you know me? Oh, come on. I am TC. The same guy you helped that Saturday afternoon when I was stranded. Oh, guy, come off this. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, 136 now. One three six. One three six. One can. How did you get into this place? You left the door open. Oh really? You saw the open and then you barred into my house, like it's your house. No, we pay house rent together here. What do you want? Out of all the beautiful maidens in Umudulu Kingdom, why did you choose to settle with a moron? Did I hear you correctly? Are you sick? How dare you call her name right before me? You think I'll take that? I am sorry. You should be sorry. I am sorry if that got you upset. What happened to us? What happened to you? 
Why are you acting like a devil who is not ready to forgive any form of offense? Oh, really? I was just complaining that you're calling Upwe names right before me and you now you're calling me names. No, why don't you just call me a devil? Oh, yes. Maybe I'm the devil. My love, I'm sorry. Don't touch me, please. I am sorry for what I did. It was not intentional. I'm really sorry. See, Ada. I am not ready for your drama, okay? As you can see, I am going out. Okay, then uh, let me sit and wait for you. Okay. When you get back, we'll talk about this. That's the most stupid thing I have ever heard anybody say in my entire life. Oh, you want to sit in my house and wait for me like it's your house? See, we have nothing to talk about, I okay? Said, I said Shut up! Crazy. You are a cheat. And I cannot deal with women that cheat. How else do I explain this to you so that you understand? Beautiful, I'll help you. It was not intentional. I am sorry. It was a mistake. Oh, you call cheating on me a mistake? Not even with a responsible human being. With Abdu. Now, Bokada. You haven't smelled Nakada, Okada. Please, 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 get out of my house. My love, how else can I explain this to you? I am sorry. I'll help you. The only way you can explain it to me is by turning around and getting out of my house. Take your frustrated, cheating self out of this place. You're smelling cheats, cheats. I'm hmm. sorry. Please, forgive me. Okay, 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 okay. See, 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 Ada. Whatever happens to you after the count of five, you are responsible for it. One, two, three. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. What kind of nonsense is this? Oh, guy, with this sentiment, we both know this work. We know at how it works. I wouldn't watch you harm this lady here. It's never going to happen. Oh, that means you are going against the master. Oh, whatever. I don't care. We are under instruction and you know that we cannot go back to the master without carrying it out. No matter what it is, one more step towards her. Believe me. I am going to cut off your head. Maybe gone. Are you threatening me? <laughs> Bukas. Bukas is never a threat. But any move, I am going to kill you. Kill you here. Bury you here. Forget about you. Go out there and face the consequences. Nzobe. Sir. Get out of here now. Yes, sir. Keep running. Till you get to your safety. Yes, sir. You just messed everything up. Shit! Bukas. Bukas, you won't understand. One good turn, they say, deserves another. She is the same lady that saved me that Saturday afternoon when I was stranded out there in the streets. She deserved to live! Mm. I still remember what I was promised. That whatsoever I seek, shall be revealed unto me. This is the first time I will be asking for anything. I implore you, do not disappoint me. I need you to show me the location of the offal of the land in order to land myself the man of my dreams. Do not disappoint me, for it will be the end of a process for both of us. Honestly speaking, Ezechigo, I have forgotten about this. So why are you here now begging me for forgiveness? Uh, 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 please, please, woman leader, please. You really, really need to forgive me. Eh? Look at me now, Lenoma, and you see that everything is wrong with my life. And he said it has been confirmed. That is, as a result of what I did to you. Please, woman leader, please, forgive me, please. The truth is, I have completely forgotten about what you and the king did to me. I forgot about it almost immediately, as I never wanted it to bother my life. So, why are you here? Now listen to me. If you are still having problems with yourself, my dear, Deal with it yourself. It has nothing to do with me.
<laughs> Ida Puti Fair. I can see you. Stop behaving like a child and come on to me. Come. Come, 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 come. Come on. <laughs> Look, the ancient staff of Umuduna Kingdom. Take it. It looks like deity. It is a deity. It is the summation of all things. The ancient staff that empowers kings of Umuduna. Take it. This is the beginning of great things to come in your existence. Take it. Take it. I see you're all set to go to the palace then. Yes. I wish you good luck. You are the luck in my life. Can we go together to the palace? No. No? Why the palace refuse us? You are a man on a mission. You do not need distraction. You are no distraction to me. Go. When you return, I will be waiting for you at my place. In the meantime, is your car anywhere close? I couldn't have come this close with my car. Wait here. Let me find something to wrap this with. You cannot leave here with this like this. I had a dream last night. Tell me about it. I will tell you when I return from the palace. Give me a hint. When I return from the palace, we'll have enough time to discuss. Okay. I have it. Let me see. Are you good now? Wow. You have just saved the king from a great fall. I did this for the love I have for Umuduna. You have done so well. Let's go in and smile, Papa. Hey, Zenge Kenyi. Truly go in your son. Uh, you know, I am going to talk to you as a friend. Now that it is established, you no longer have the offer. I am pleading with you to play down on your application of authority. Because your power as the king of Umuduno comes from that offer. I am still the king. And I am sensing good news. What good news? Your phone is back. How? Which your phone is back? Your Highness. Hello, Putife. You are welcome. This is the offer of our ancestors. Hello, Putife. Your Highness. I am greatly relieved. Do you think I can hurt you? 
I don't know what to believe. Look, I love you. And I can never think of harming you. Who then sent those guys to kill me? I don't know them. But the one who wanted to cut me with a cutlass said you asked him to bring me into the bush. I mean, how then did you know you asked me to meet you there? Well, um, they may have taped my call and went ahead to kidnap you. It wasn't just a kidnap. The instruction was to kill me. Did they mention my name in the course of the argument? Well, no, they didn't. But they said the master asked them to kill me. Well, I'm not a master. I am Prince Chijindo and have never told anyone that I am a master. They are referring to someone I don't even know. <sighs> okay, I believe you. From your heart. Yes. Come here. That was close. Very close. Um now I can take decisions and uh, restore Umudunu back to glory. I must admit to you all. A lot of things went wrong, but we can make things work positively again in Omuduno because my staff of authority is back. <laughs> Your Majesty, what is happening here? Why are you shivering before your four of our ancestors to the extent that you picked it up and then dropped it on the, on the table? Kevin Demon. It's been long I held this up for. So maybe he doesn't recognize me. Oh, okay. He thinks that this ranger has come. Um, my offer? It is your rightful owner that is holding you. Eh? I need you to respond to me friendly as you used to do. It is not a stranger that has come. It is me. Eh? So, be friendly, please. Uh. Ah. Your Majesty, what is happening here is not good at all. Does it mean that the ancestors of Umudunu have rejected you? No ancestor can reject me. Because I am king after the order of my fathers. I am the custodian of this offer. So... Uh, I must hold it. I, I agree. <laughs> 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 what did you do to the staff? Nothing. And why is it behaving strange? I don't know. Where did you get the staff? Wait. Are you saying the staff in there is not the authentic one? That is not what I'm saying. I want to know what you did to it that made it behave extraordinary. Ichi Okoye Ibubuogu seem to have summarized everything. What did you summarize? Huh? And what are you insinuating? Your Majesty, this sign depicts one thing and one thing alone. And what is that? The gods and the ancestors of Umuduna Kingdom have rejected you as king. Oh, stop saying that, for you know it is not possible. This offer is my inheritance. The gods do not take people's inheritance. 
Your Majesty, what I have just told you is the bitter truth. And I don't know why you are finding it difficult to accept it. Never. Onya is there. Amongst the men that are here seated, two are from the lineage of kings. Are you aware? Yes. Your Majesty, we are here for something very serious. The ancient of four of our forebears is here before us. And this man from the family of uh, kings will attempt to lift this offer. And if this offer remains in the hands of any of them, that one will become the custodian of the offer. Do you have a problem with that? I know. Your Majesty, uh, you need to understand that whosoever becomes the custodian of this offer must be crowned the king of Umudunu immediately. Please, Oko Yububu, I'm tired of everything already. I cannot fight the gods. Let them try whosoever that become the custodian. Let him become king. Please. Hey, your Majesty, don't be offended. I just needed to give you the explanation so that all of us will be on the same page. Oh, are you so? That's all. Ishia mm -hmm. uh, you may you may try first. Mm. We, we, we need a king. Ishia yeah. Bazuago, why are you doing this? Why are you lifting this thing as if it's just your hand fan? This is the ancient of four of our forefathers. Lift it like somebody who, who, who understands what, what, what masculinity is. What it means is that you are fed. Kwema. Is your color? Uh -uh. You may try. Is it necessary? Unless, you, unless you, you you don't want to take your right, as you know, a man from the family of kings. what is this now? The current is too much. Why didn't you prepare from the inside of you? Knowing full well what you are about to touch? You didn't approach this thing well. Try again. There's no need. There's no need. I even never wanted to become king. Let it go to another person. Hmm. Well, um, in that case, uh, the king remains the king. As we can see, it is very obvious that the girls have not found uh, a replacement. Uh, 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 why don't you try? It's your turn. Go ahead and try. So that we can. Ishii, Abazwago, I cannot try because I am not from the family of kings. I am from the family of king makers. My family is saddled with the responsibility of crowning kings. You know, I am not so those of us who are supposed to be crowning kings, we not suddenly aspire to become kings. Does it make sense? Um, in that case, uh, why not? Uh, why don't the king try again? So exactly, the, the... exactly. What I was um, planning to beg, Your Majesty. As you can see, we have not managed to make any headway. So I am pleading, if it is possible for you to try again and lift this offer. It is, it is possible the gods uh, have, uh, you know, changed their minds and they, they want to retain you. Ichioko Ibu, I told you I'm already tired of everything. I'm not going to touch this offer again, ever. 
How did it go? I'm still the king, as no one could hold your fall. Then there's something wrong somewhere. I know. Your Highness, what you're going to do is that you're going to find what the problem is and you're going to fix it. <laughs> Well, I am of the opinion that the time has come for any of your sons to emerge king in Omudunu Kingdom. That can only happen when I'm dead. In Gangwenyo Chuli Gwenyo, so the gods have rejected you. And you know this yourself. We cannot continue to live without a king. But my sons cannot be king when I'm still alive. Well, Onyeze, if any of your sons manages to pick the offer of the ancestors, we are going to make him the king of Omodono. And when that happens, you are compared by tradition to depart from Umudunu because you cannot live in the same kingdom where your own son is ruling as king. I can't believe this is happening. My investigation is revealing that um, you are the one who brought this upon yourself. How? You went out of your way to sleep with almost all the widows of Umuduno Kingdom. Those who resisted you got punished by you. And they came together and prayed to the ancestors to intervene. The consequences of that prayer is what you are facing now. Igwe, 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 Ezenkenkeni, Igwe Bodanya, Igwe, Igwe, Ezenkenkeni. Father, this whole thing still sounds strange to me. I know. But you have to brace up for the challenge ahead. <laughs> Father, is there no other way out? None that I know, son. Even Ichi Okoyibudo, who we are accusing of trying to dethrone me, has no slightest intention of becoming king. I don't know what else to do. Your Majesty, there must be another way. We just have to find it. There's no other way. Well, Father, do you realize that if any of us picks the offer, that you will die before we'll be crowned king? I will not die, but I must leave Umudunu, for a son cannot rule over his father in Umudunu. But it will be a thing of joy to me if any of you succeeds. I will be happy that royalty did not leave my family. We are not warning you. Now see the disarray you've brought upon this family. The one of your sons can still become king. But I will not be there to be queen mother, would I? I would have to go live with my husband in whatever town he chooses to live in. Rest assured that I'll never forgive you for this. Uh, Prince Yijindu, of course we know you are the one. You are the head prince 
and naturally you are the one who will take over from the father. But we are here simply to fulfill all righteousness. For you to lift this offer and give us that conviction, that confirmation we need that the gods have accepted you. But all right. Yeah, <laughs> now my faith in this whole thing is restored. I knew the gods of our land would never allow my brother to be king. Why? Why did you say that to Kudele? You know why I said it. You crippled royalty by taking advantage of a girl placed under your care. Why are you bringing this up here? I didn't rape the girl. We both agreed as adults and went down together. And then you plan to kill her? Oh yes. A man who can kill a woman, even one with unborn child, is evil. You can never be king. Enough! Enough! You have already made your point, young man. No need of flogging it. Uh, we can see you are, you are the good man. Uh, the choosing of the gods. Uh, the one who will take over from the father and uh, salvage what is remaining of royalty in our kingdom. You are going to leave this stuff today and we are going to crown you the king of Umudunu here today. Okay, you know, lifting down somebody from the family of kings. Yes. No, no. Go ahead and pick it up. You are a good man. Fool. No. I'm not going to talk this shit anymore. Oh, this shit almost stopped my heart. Yeah. Oh, for Nana, I can watch it. No wonder. Thank you. Oh, for serious the matter is, we will not allow it to underplay our tradition. Come on in, let me offer you color. No, 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 I must say. I am not here for color at all. I'm here for something much greater than color. All right then. What could that be? <sighs> I must say, I have come to ask you forgiveness. Tell him why. You have not offended me in any way. Why then are you asking for my forgiveness? But my husband has offended you. He offended you in a way that has gotten to the gods and that punishing him. And your forgiveness will go a long way in appeasing the gods. Honestly speaking, uh, I do not have anything against the king. But if he has ignited the rods of the gods, then let him face it. I have nothing against him. Believe me. Oh, Master. You know me well enough to know that I wouldn't just wake up and come to knock on your door. I made inquiries before coming here, and I heard that your prayers are part of what my husband is facing. Can you not, on account of this visit, forgive him? Now, sincerely speaking, I have nothing whatsoever against your husband. But if the king is still suffering on the account of that, it then means he has to go and apologize to all the widows 
in this kingdom. Who knows? That might be the only way he will regain his freedom and dignity. I don't know why I have been summoned by men in council. I am a law-abiding citizen of this land, and I have never taken advantage of anybody. Maybe that is the reason the gods selected you. Selected me? I am not from the lineage of kingmakers. Ilopotive, uh, let me not waste your time. Let me tell you the reason you have been summoned. You see, this ancient staff of our forefathers, ancient of four, it has refused to remain in the hands of anybody in the royal circle, from the king to the princes. Even some of the men in council who are from the family of kings, they have equally tried. And this staff failed to stay in their hands. So, with due respect, sir, what has that got to do with me? Well, you know it yourself, you are the son of the soil. That whosoever lifts this staff becomes the custodian of Sam. And anybody who is the custodian of this staff automatically is the king of Umuduno Kingdom. Who is telling you all this? Forces! Presumably forces that keep watch over Umuduno. Okay, I don't know the game you're playing. Okay, you see, I don't know any force. And I've never been obedient to any of them. <laughs> you don't need to know them or be associated with them before they can choose you for anything. I have a gift. It promises to make you a great man. My special gifts will unlock the doors of wealth and wisdom. And for that to happen, the man that I love has to love me genuinely. Anything is achievable by whoever that man is, as long as he loves me, genuinely. This and more will be yours if you marry me and love me, genuinely. So, when did someone that is not from the lineage of the kings qualify to lift the offer and possibly become king. Ilo Putifa, you need to understand that men are nothing without the gods. It is possible the gods have decided to rewrite the history of Umuduna Kingdom by opening a new page whereby people from outside the royalty can now become king. That is, in a situation where all the people in the royal circle are unable to lift the staff. It is possible they are calling for someone from outside. If you are able to lift this staff today, you are going to become the custodian of it and automatically the next king of Umudu the Kingdom. Keep it down. Pick it up again. Keep it up. Keep it down. If you learn it, Tata. 
I have to. Once it goes to the third one, once it gets to the third one, it's set up. I tell you. Lift it up again. <laughs> Behold the next king of Ubuduno Kingdom. <laughs> Iwe! Ah! Umi Umi. Hey! <laughs> I am the king and I get whatever I want. Your Majesty, my body is not part of everything that you must have. And even if you want to have my body, then ask for it nicely. You want me to go on my knees and beg you to sleep with me? Mm -hmm. Never. I cannot do that. You are going to give it to me whenever I want it. Or you are going to face a stiff opposition from me in this kingdom. I'm sorry. I'm going to make you cry blood. As in, you will be crying and blood will be gushing out of your eyes. But why? Why are you doing this to me? Why? My husband was your best friend when he was alive. That was then. Now he's dead and gone. Leaving a widow who defines beauty in totality. No widow in Umuduno has said no to me. Do not be the first, Omasri. Or I'm going to sting you like the bees. Hmm. Your Majesty. Naturally, when your soul always at that. Now I need you to mark this somewhere. There is an end to every dynasty. And what does that mean? Hmm. Ezenkenkenyi truly when your soul. She warned you, but you refused to listen. What's your friend talking about? Who is the she? You by the selection of the gods and ancestors of Umuduno kingdom you are now the king of Umuduno already crowned by the family of kingmakers. As you are here to place the offer in the abode of the gods, thereby becoming the lifetime custodian of sin. I want you to make us promises. And you must make us these promises from the very depths of your heart. Igwe. I am very emotional right now I know but you shouldn't be I want you to carry on like a powerful man that the gods have chosen to be king She is not just my wife. She is a wife given to me by the gods of Umuduni Kingdom. Simply to make today a reality. As you have crowned me your king, I know the reason why Ezenkenkeni was rejected. And I vow today not to make some mistakes. 
I will rule Umuduni Kingdom to the best of my ability, ensuring peace of all the citizens of Umudunu and progress of all. Again in a venue. 